Yes. And I moved the executive for a $209,232. Okay, and that's on page page one, I believe. So, um, yeah, Mr. Welch, please, if we'll, we're going to have, now the fund's going to start, okay? Yeah. So, we're going to. Who's the second for that thing? I did. Oh. And the figure is 209232? Correct. Thank you. Isn't it 309? Three oh nine. Sorry. Three zero nine two three. Thank you. Correct. Yes. My failing eyes. My apologies. Thank you, Chris. So we're gonna start with the um, with the uh, the selectmen. We've we've got uh, it's zero. Zero increase. So, I, is there any discussion about the? Um, as a matter of fact, is there any discussion about any of this? Do you want to say anything, Mr. I'm Town Manager? The total bottom line is zero point five five percent decrease from uh, this current year to next year. Okay, Tim. I have one thing here, everybody. It's from. Uh, from the minutes recorder. Respectfully, this would be from Barbara. This would be regarding the budget committee's budget. Um, I request that the committee consider increasing my salary to $175 a meeting as requested last year. Anybody want to make a motion on that? David makes a motion to increase. Okay. Anybody want to second that so we can have second discussion? That. Ginny seconded it. Um, just for discussion purposes, I know, Sonny, that when these other budgets have come up and they're five and six percent, and you've had a, a speech for every one of those department heads that um, a five or six percent, and uh, there are so many people that are living on fixed incomes and everything else. This is a 10 percent increase. All, all, all I can add is. That I know how long it takes to write the minutes up. Yeah, it makes sense out of it. Okay, this is a 10% increase. I just want to say that for the bottom line. Okay, so anybody wish to um, speak about this? Go ahead. Sonny, how many hours are put into one? You're asking the wrong person, David. No, ask the, ask the recorder hours. secretary if you want to know that question because you're not managing her. Answer, let Barbara, you Whatever. can answer that question yourself. It can take anywhere from 10 to 20 hours, depending, huge. depending. For instance, the last set of minutes, yeah. it, it is complicated, complex, it went around and around, and it has to be accurate. Point of so, order, Mr. Chairman. Yes. So it is. If we're, if we're going to be discussing. 20, 20 hours. Plus point of order, Mr. Chairman. Absolutely. Hold on, David. The point of order takes precedence. If we're going to be discussing individual performance, then by law we should be doing it in a non public session. I agree. And this is. This is not. Um, this is. This has to do with personnel, and it. It should be discussed with, uh, for instance, in the HR office with the HR uh, human resources. Person. No, no. It needs to be discussed in a non-public session. Of if 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 the budget committee is or is not going to make an increase to an individual, and discuss that individual's performance. Right. That discussion of the individual performance must be non-public. Unless the person requests that it be in public. Correct. Okay. The person may request But we have not received that request. It can be an oral request or it can be a written request. But we have not heard nor seen such a request. Okay. Do I hear an oral request from Barbara that this can be discussed? That's that your, your performance be discussed publicly? I have no problem. There you go. Okay, so thank you, Tim. So that's that a granting of right? That was a very good point of order. David, did you have anything else you wanted to ask Barbara? No, what I was trying to do to understand that, to get over the 10%. She's, at times, this, she's putting into like 20, 20 hours plus. That's a lot of work for 20 hours if you're doing the other thing. Paying like $7, 6 bucks, $5 an hour. And your work is outstanding. So that's all. It seemed reasonable. And I wouldn't go down the 10% rule against Sonny. I think that's a low shot. Personal opinion. Um, I'm sorry to say that I do not find the work outstanding. The minutes have been resubmitted with amendments. The same meeting multiple times. 
uh, that's very unusual, extremely unusual. You that's not that outstanding. Are you talking to me? Can I, can I receive no, I'm speaking general. I'll look as, as you're I looking wish. at me like you talk. I'll look as I wish to look. And uh, furthermore, as as you know, Mr. Chairman, we instructed the recording secretary to generate bare bones minutes, which meant who's attending, what motions are made, who voted on those motions, and that's it. That's all that's required legally. And that's what this committee, you, the chairman, directed at the beginning. Bare bones minutes. There's no reason that bare bones minutes should take 10 to 20 hours, right? 10 to 20 minutes is more accurate. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom line is we're getting voluminous minutes. They're quite the opposite of the direction that the chairman gave. And I do not consider doing the opposite of the direction the chairman made to be considered outstanding performance. And so, no, I do not support a 10% raise. I do not support a 0.1% raise. I do not support a raise of any kind. Say okay, thank you, Chairman. Um, go ahead, Sonny. Yeah, you had your hand up first. I have a question. I was going to raise with the Lansing Municipal Association. When somebody abstains from a vote on the record, <coughs> Tim usually abstains. Then he, another meeting, he may, wants to amend it. If he hasn't voted, how can he amend it? That's. My understanding is you... Can we go back to the motion, to Mr. Chairman? Vote in order to amend something. Okay. And that's... I'm not going to answer that, so... No, okay. I that's, that's, I you're just making a comment. Okay, thank you. Ginny, what the did you... The other thing I would suggest is let Tim mark the minutes. Okay, Ginny, go ahead. Do you know... How, it's very hard to get people to take minutes. There's ads in the paper all the time from clerks to take minutes because it's a thankless job because half the people like it and half the people hate it. And that's the way it is. So I think we have a clerk that does her job. She does the minutes on time. I think we should obviously consider the 10% price. Well, you know what, Ginny? I don't see that that... Okay, that's your opinion. Thank right. you. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, in order? Okay. Well, hands keep going up around here. <laughs> Regina, go ahead. What is the current? You 175 is what's being requested. What does she do? 150. Okay, that's all I have. Thank you. And and I want to add that, um, just for the record, okay. Joan Rice, who happens to be convalescing right now, so a shout out to her. I hope she's feeling better soon. Um, you did the did the she was the minutes recorder. We have to keep this title correct. You just mentioned clerk. Somebody else said recording secretary. It's the minutes recorder. That's the title. Okay, and um, she did it for considerably less money than that. Like many, many. When I say considerably, I mean considerably. Like ninety bucks, I think. Ninety-five. Now, yeah. when when Barbara offered to do this service last year, at the time she asked. $175. I was sitting, I think, where you are now, or David, and I said, I think $150 is more than enough. Um, and that was a jump from what we had been paying, okay? Um, I, that's, um, that's all I'm going to say, and then my vote will, will reflect how the rest of it, how I feel. Go ahead, Chuck. Um, Joan Rice does our meeting. She does a phenomenal job. Mm -hmm. She's going to continue to do our meetings. But our meetings are substantially less in time. Our meetings are anywhere from one to two hours. And these meetings go on and on and on and on, that's, that's which a good, they don't need to go on and on and on, but they do. That's a good point, and, Chuck. Uh, and, I, and I want to mention that when Joan was doing these minutes and prior chairman, not me, because these, are, these meetings end at 10 o'clock, whether we're in the middle of a sentence or not, um, but they used to go until 11 o'clock. So they're a three-hour meeting now. They used to be four, and one time it was even f uh, yeah. midnight at, and 1230, and Joan was doing those minutes. It, those meetings were ridiculous, okay? And I, so point well uh, made about the time. I realized that Joan does the minutes for other She does them for the school board as well, I yes. believe. Yeah. Yes, she so she does them for a number of different people. Um, but 
whatever the case, anybody else have anything to say? Uh, Sonny, go ahead. Yeah, oh, I've got one comment. If with the Municipal Budget Committee gets into litigation at any point, the judge relies on the minutes, not the video. The video is not the official record, it's the minutes. That are, That's a good that point. Will determine that's a good point, but I will, Tim made a point also, and that is that at the beginning of this, I specifically said I want minimum minutes, okay? They originally <coughs> were substant, they were just 12 pages of minutes, um, and way too much, way too much information. Um, if it's taking 20 hours, I would suggest that perhaps bringing it down to more bare bones of what I asked before. And if I remember correctly, and Fred, perhaps I've, I've talked to you about this. What is the requirement in the minutes? Because it's pretty minimal. Statutory requirements are that you must indicate who's in attendance. You must indicate who comes to meet with the board. You must indicate what the subject is, and you must indicate a vote if it's taken. That's it. Okay. That's all that really needs to be done, okay? The, I realize the, you know, there's nine pages from one of our last meetings, I think. Um, yeah, nine, nine pages for our meeting on uh, Tuesday, December 5th. It's too much. It, it, you're, I, you're putting in too much work, Barbara. Okay, that's my opinion. And I would like to ask that you minimize it. Uh, David, go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> I have taken notes many notes in the past where I worked. And I will tell you, it's very difficult to do when about four or five people, this are talking, because then this one jumps in, and then even the next person raises it right down. So what I would suggest is, if you want a minimum example, I think we need to give our secretary an example of a minimal, so we have a sample for to follow. But the, as you're saying, it is nine pages because she's trying to add that level of detail. But we need to have a sample for her to understand. I think we should be able to come up with one. Maybe the, the town manager, what you just said, was pretty simple. That's but the sample. If that's the sample, that's we the should sample. Have to put it in black and white and have a sample, and we'll, we'll go by that. To cut well, that, corral. that is the sample, what was just told by the town manager. It's set okay. statute. Okay, that's, the, that's, the, right. that's it. David. Black letter laws, it's called, right? right. They get you down like That's the rumor. All right. Uh, Tim, you had your hand up. Anything else to add to this? For me, it's not the mm -hmm. It was said the for minutes me, are done on time. It's just for the town, for the for here. And it's up to you, you know. The minutes are not done on time. They're not. Five days, five business days okay. for a draft. Today. At 4.45, <coughs> we received the minutes for December 5th. Today is December 14th. Point of not order. on time. Uh, hold on, Tim. Point of order. Just for the record, okay, you can show this in the record. The minutes were sent to me late yesterday afternoon. Tuesday. And I was in another meeting. Okay. No, I didn't get them Tuesday. I got them, I got them Wednesday, okay? It's so, Tuesday. And I was at a meeting with the village district. Okay. So that's why I, of course, the town office is closed, um, and that's why I sent them today to Christina to distribute to the <coughs> okay? So well, I don't care whose fault it is. The fact is the law says five business days, and that didn't happen, okay? <coughs> and even more over than that, because we had a meeting two days later on the 7th. We don't have minutes for that. And just to explain at that, all, Tim. That I see. No, just to explain that. And you're right, we don't. Barbara approached me before this meeting started, and she had a printer problem. So she printed out a document that was um, had it wasn't it wasn't complete. I gave that to Mr. Welch, so that he can please give it to Christina, his assistant tomorrow, but you're right. It's, we're cutting this very close. Mr. Okay. Chairman, can you explain to me why you need a printer to send an email? That's a good question. Maybe you could ask the person that... that because was, it's, that that was the, the point I'm making is, is that a broken printer has got nothing to do with the process. That's a point that if you wanted to ask... So them. the minutes are not on time. 
And the quality is something I don't want to get into because I can go through the, the most recent December 5th minutes and, and see discombobulations all over the place. Well, you had problems with the previous secretary. No, well, no, no, no. Yeah. Let me say it right now clearly. That's why Joe... Right, let me say it right now clearly. Just because I say that, you know, that this could be corrected, that could be corrected, doesn't mean I don't consider that work quality work. Joan Rice does outstanding work when she was on the budget committee, she does outstanding work for the village district, and she does outstanding work for the school board. Mm -hmm. All right? Let me be totally clear on that. The fact that I had revisions or suggestions has got nothing to do with the reflection of me thinking it was poor quality work, because it wasn't. And I made that clear in a letter to the editor when people were confused about that years ago. So let's not be painting me with a brush that was an incorrect brush to begin with. Can we get finished? The point is, is that the 12 five minutes, if you read them, you will find comments way off bounds. One topic is being discussed, and another topic is being described. That's not quality. Okay, can we get done? Talking about Hold on, don't, Sonny, don't be just talking about Are you? I haven't recognized you. Are you finished, if, Tim? I'm only going to go into the particulars of it if, if, if people want to challenge me on that statement, but that's my statement. Thank you, Tim. Um, Sonny. I would suggest we find out from the Municipal Association which, if there's a legal matter that involves a budget committee, whether they rely on the minutes or the video. They don't rely on the video. They re it's the minutes that make the decision for the judge. Fred, you're shaking your head. No, that's not true. Okay, that's The not cases true, we sorry. have, they rely upon both. Right. We just finished the case, which is now before the Supreme Court. The Superior Court ruled after reviewing the video. All of the ZBA cases, a video must be provided. So that's not true. They do review the videos because they have the entire meeting on the video. Right. Thank you for that clarification. So now we know what the answer is to that. Are we finished talking about this? I hope so. Uh, seeing no more hands, um, we can vote on this now. All those in favor of increasing that by uh, to 175. Who made that motion? I did. I seconded it. Okay, David made the motion and Ginny seconded it. Um, all those in favor, raise your hands. We have David, Ginny, and Sonny. All those opposed? Um, we have Chuck, Regina, myself, Stephen LeBranch, uh, Mike Plouffe, and Tim Jones. Okay, thank you very much. So, any other questions from anybody regarding this, um, what we're looking at, which is the executive. It's the selectmen, the town manager, the budget committee, and the trustees of the trust fund. Mr. Chairman. Go ahead. The... Um Salaries for the uh, manager and town manager are exactly where here? Right under town manager, right? Regular right, wages? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. And uh, your recent contracts that were executed uh, with Lord Selectman, uh, are the numbers in those contracts reflected here? Yes. But yet there seems to be a decrease of 0.64%. So you guys take a pay cut in those contracts? Yeah, we took a pay cut of 0.64%. No kidding. Finance. Uh, looks at the wages that are there, computes them against the number of payroll payrolls for the year, and uh, verifies the actual sum that needs to be paid based upon the rate that's approved by the selectman. So your contracts actually calls for a well. Some some years have fifty four. Christy, pay would you? I, th I believe in the two thousand and seventeen budget. I don't did not bring it down with me, but I believe that there was a increase in the budget for the town manager and the assistant town manager. It was either two or three. And won't be quoted because I can't remember, but okay. it was higher than what they were issued. They were issued 1.65%. In the contracts that they have, the pay rate in that contract is exactly what the Board of Selectmen had already authorized back in like June or July. There was no other pay increase in their contracts. Oh, was it last year 10%? Thank you, Chris. <coughs> Thank you. Can, you, can you explain then why uh, the subline item of regular wages is down? It should be flat based on what I'm hearing from you. No, it shouldn't be flat. In the 2017 budget, the Board of Selectmen put in the 2017 budget. Do you remember? What I think it was, it was three, three each. I think right? it was three yeah. each. Yeah. And 
In 2017, the Board of Selectmen chose to only give 1.65. They did not give them the whole 3%. Right. That is why it's down in the okay. 18. So we had an appropriation for 3% yes. and an actual disbursement of 1.65%. Yes. yes. Okay. For each of them. Okay. Thank you, Christy. Okay. Okay. Um, um, Tim, continue. Thank you. Just going to quickly make a reference here. But I wanted to ask you, Fred, or Regina, either one, there was some discussion at the Board of Selectmen about uh, adjusting the, uh, the salary for the Selectmen. Uh, can, can you enlighten me as to where that is? It's not adjusted. Yeah. I know it's not adjusted, but I can see that it's not adjusted. But uh, is there consideration being made? or Is it just been tabled? or? There was no motion to change that. There right. was a discussion that a number of years ago it was decreased. But the selectmen did not make a motion to increase it or to change it in any way. Mm -hmm. So they left it flat. I find, you know, I, I was I was aware of they were being paid thirty five hundred about twenty years ago, and they took a cut because of partly because the unions were not getting any increases, and the board of selectmen was showing a, some a symbolic gesture of. Uh, Solidarity with them, so they went from thirty-five hundred to three thousand, where it has remained uh, through all of these couple decades now. And uh, I am <coughs> concerned because I see last year we had uh, an election with no competition for the board of selectmen. They do they do a lot of work. Uh, whether you like their work or not is not the issue. The personalities at play are not the issue in my mind. What's at my mind is we expect them to do a certain amount of work. We voters, we citizens, expect them to do a certain amount of work. And that $3,000 that we're paying them, in my opinion, does not reflect the expectation we have of them for the amount of work they do. I mean, they, they, uh, there's one former selectman who complains that they don't meet every week. They meet almost every week. <laughs> And, and at the rate of that, if you just divide that up by the $3,000, they're making pennies. And the fact that we're not getting, in my opinion, again, a uh, sufficient number of people uh, stepping forward and joining government uh, really puts our entire town government as a town government at serious risk. Uh, you don't have competition for the budget committee. We don't have competition for the planning board. We don't have competition at elections for the board of selectmen. We don't have a competition of ideas. And when you don't have a competition of ideas, what you end up is basically having less than optimum ideas. Basically bad ideas too often. So I'm very concerned. I think maybe we ought to consider raising the Board of Selectmen's pay. And speaking more broadly, I think we need to be considering raising the pay of other elected officials as well. Since we already have in this budget pay raises for elected officials, uh, I would say that <clears throat> it makes sense to me that the elected officials who have been ignored for years, uh, not getting increments or anything at all, ought to be given consideration this year, along with those who were already given consideration. We shouldn't be you know, taking just this one and that one and, and ignoring everybody else. One so I would, I would uh, request that... Uh, uh, we asked the finance director to provide an analysis of uh, total costs associated. I'm just throwing these numbers out so we have something to work with in our final review. But my intent is to consider giving giving a pay increments. Uh, and, and I would say if the finance director could provide us with a cost analysis of increasing the, uh, uh, paying the Board of Selectmen a salary of $5,000 versus the 3000 currently. Uh, and also for all elected officials who presently are unpaid, they receive zero, that there ought to be an allocation of, uh, for a, an expense account slash stipend of $1,000 per official. So they will not be on the payroll. Um, and I also thank the moderator who has not received the pay raise in well over 20 years, even though, according to Jane, he doesn't necessarily want it. If he doesn't want it, he can give it to charity. Or simply not accepted if he doesn't. But he, right now he's being paid a thousand dollars. Hasn't been increased for over twenty years. We got to bring that to two thousand dollars. So if we, we can get that uh, analysis, cost analysis from Christie, Mr. Chairman, 
I would appreciate that. I think it would give us some more information uh, for our final review. Christy, is that something you can do? Yeah, just for clarification, so the Board of Selectmen would be handled the same way that they are now through payroll. So yes. the taxes that are involved with that. And then for other board members, you're looking for $1,000 per seat, so to speak, even per, per person. Per yeah. person, and that would just be a stipend, not through payroll. Well, it would be, an expense, it'd be an expense account, and if they don't exhaust the full 1000 in a year, they, they can optionally take the balance as a stipend. So it would not be a payroll. Yeah. Not a payroll. Not a payroll. So they would get a 1099. That's yeah, if they were taking a stipend, yeah. Well, if they just to expand on that a little bit. Um, so you're saying expenses, for instance, would be like mileage yeah. type of thing, or I don't know, whatever you they, they, they may go up to an HMA meeting, you know, a training session or something like that. They they, they pay would on get their paid own for, kind of They would get paid for mileage, and then and as well as the cost of the. The, the trip, essentially, yeah. Okay. There are a I, variety I of things that we do. Driving around town looking at sites. and I mean, how I many, Steve, you and I have personally gone up together and looked at sites investigating warrant articles. So. Uh, that's true. Kind of information. Okay, hold Go ahead, uh, Sonny. State reps get $100 a year. Plus expenses. Oh, they get free tolls. No, they get full expense account, unlimited. Do that. Yeah. Okay, I, I get it, I get it. Okay, Jenny's first. Is there a majority of this board right now that wants this? He didn't make a motion. He's asking for, what was it? Just a cost analysis. analysis. So so I'm just using these he's numbers not as making a baseline a motion. to work with. Or maybe you are making a motion. Cool. No, just, no, just no. As, as before, we request information through the chair, and the chair simply passes it on to the appropriate personnel. <coughs> Do you understand, Christy, the, basically what he's asking? Yes. Okay. Do you want to clarify all the board members you're referring to? Or you want planning board? Well, I'm hoping your analysis will committee? bring it to light. But basically, what readily comes to mind is the budget committee. We have six, right? And the uh, planning board has, what, seven, Fred? Maybe five? I'm not five. sure. Five. Zoning board? And, and zoning board has five. Five. Right. Uh, Conservation? Conservation is not elected. So you're looking for elected board members? Correct. Got it. There's your clarification yeah. right there. Okay. Do not do it for the school board, Tim. Because I'm not. This is just okay. for the town. Because you said you were moving it on. No, no, no. no and no. I'm going to say that the, the school board has... The school board, I am let them to make their decision. Okay. And when we're dealing with SAU 90, if, it, if the idea comes up, then the idea comes up. But I have no expectation. The, that idea, the idea has come up and has been presented to the school board every year, and we wanted the building. And in order to get that building, we cut down the Warren articles and the budget at 0%. So that we could I get a bill. I have no intention of making. So I'm any, just telling you that. So the, we have we have we have we have charge of the town budget, the SAU 90 budget, and the village district budget. Right. I have no intention of making a similar request for information from the village district, nor from SAU 90. Okay. Okay. Yep. This is just for the town. Okay. Right. This is the town government's health that I'm concerned with. If we don't get more people actively involved, this town is going to, as a town government, will deteriorate into something. Much less desirable than a town government. Okay, thank you, Tim. Are you done? Yes, I okay. hope so. uh, David, go ahead. Quick question. Yes. Hopefully. Quick. I thought the selectman's salary was fifteen thousand dollars a year. Hell no. Oh, no, that's divided by five. Five, five that's people. Divided by five. They get yeah, three thousand yes. a year. I, okay. I had heard from people it was fifteen thousand per person. No, no. no. Five from of course you have. Far from it. <laughs> okay. okay, so anything else on this? Anything else here? We have a motion and we have a second. It wasn't a motion, it was simply a request for information. No, 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 for you, but anything else about this? We're just to move, this? move forward a little bit. The executive, the. Oh, right, okay, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, yes, any, yes, I do, actually. Um, Moa? Yeah. Okay, let's wrap this up because we've got other things to finish up here. I, I began reading the, um, the contracts, Fred. Um, and I noticed there's a bill out there pending, uh, HB 561, are you familiar with it? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't believe that, what's the matter, Chuck? Well, right now the law says that if you take a pension, help me if I'm wrong, Fred, tell me if I'm wrong. If you take a pension from the New Hampshire retirement system, then you can only work for a government entity for a maximum of 32 hours a week. Is that accurate? That's the way it is now. Somewhat accurate. Okay. Help me out. 
I need help all there the time. There are specific employees and officials and, and, and so Tom on and so forth are who are excluded from that Tom by manager, statute. Right. Yeah. Tom, Tom managers are exempt. Correct. Right. Uh, but uh, HB 561 is going to change that hour count from 32 to 20, I believe, right? That's what's in the bill pending to be voted on in, December, in January. Right. So uh, I'm concerned there was no mention, because I saw it in contracts, related to change in that law. I mean, it, it did, the, the contracts did mention the law. The proposed so statute. We could be paying, uh, say, the assistant town manager, uh, what is it, 80 plus thousand dollars. Right now we're paying them for 32 hours worth of work. If HB 561 passes, by contract, we'll did be paying read, them 80. Did you read the entire act? I have not, no. Okay, well, so if you read out. the entire act, you will find that there is an exclusion in there for existing contracts. Grandfathered. Yes. Okay. Thank you. That's that's the essence of my question. Thank you, friend. Okay. So, get to the, the bottom line. I appreciate that. I'm, I'm done, I hope. You're done. Okay. Sonny, make it quick. Make it quick? Yes. We, we, because we have other things to do tonight, I have a question Sonny. on the outside council. You got it's not three, topical. Three cases. They're not on that Mr. budget. Chairman, point of order. Well, it's on, it's in the Sonny, we're not order. talking about that right now. Okay. Well, okay. Any it. any further conversation on this? <laughs> okay. We're going to vote right now. Those in favor, raise your hand. And it's Almost everybody ready. except it, those not in favor. And Sonny's abstaining. So you have one abstention, one abstention, and then the others have voted yes. 